So we have some breaking news from earlier today. Tom Rogers, who was the founder of MSNBC, basically went on MSNBC and he also wrote in Newsweek that Joe Biden's cognitive decline and dementia makes him unready, at least at this stage, for the general election. He basically noted that the polls are decent for Biden right now, largely because Donald Trump himself is doing such a bad job. But when the chips are actually down, Joe Biden is really struggling to communicate a vision. And I think he means both in the sense that Biden literally has trouble communicating, again, the cognitive decline and the dementia. But he's also referencing the fact that Biden isn't really providing an alternative, at least one that's exciting, that's exhilarating, that's really winning people over. And again, in the short term, when Trump is giving a press conference every few days or every day, and most of them go horribly, then it's not a big deal for Joe Biden. But when the election gets closer and closer, as I've noted and many others have noted, Biden will be able to hide less and less and less. Even in a campaign where we're all socially distant, his media appearances will have to be more frequent. And frankly, he's going to get less and less softball media interviews and they're going to become more and more pointed and focused. And I don't know if Biden really has it in him. It's not just the fact that that he slurs his speech sometimes. It's not just the fact that he forgets his speech sometimes. Those things in and of themselves are concerning, but not damning. But when you combine that with the fact that the man has no vision other than the fact that he is not Donald Trump and other than the fact that he was Barack Obama's vice president, you are entering a danger zone for the election. He notes it with many quotes, but there's this one specific quote he put out today, Tom Rogers put out today, which captures how I feel about the whole Biden situation. Letting Trump continue to devalue his own political standing has been beneficial to Biden at a time when Biden's own media appearances from home have unfortunately shown a worrisome inability to focus his message and articulate clearly and crisply. As we move towards election day, Joe Biden will no longer be able to let Trump do the talking. He will have to come out and present the case against Trump himself, as well as his vision for the future. And that's what we've been warning about. That's what the Bernie Sanders contingent, that's what progressives we've been warning about. Because Biden, even during the primaries, was already having a difficulty communicating. And Biden largely hid away. And there's been times during this crisis where Biden would hide away for six days. It's unacceptable for a man running for president. I've talked about it on this channel, how there's been multiple instances where Jill Biden, his wife, is taking a leadership role on his streams. And I don't think it's a effort to break down the traditional role of first lady. I really think it's about Joe Biden not being able to handle the media volume that's expected of him and not being able to do that amount of media without making mistakes. And so Jill is there to act as a deflector and as a crutch for her husband, Joe. All of this is playing out and it hasn't reached everyone yet. And not everyone has absorbed the amount of Joe Biden media as a lot of people that follow politics day in, day out have. And I really do worry that this is a man who has been utterly unable to provide a vision for America other than the fact that he's not Donald Trump. And even on the Tara Reid story, Tom Rogers notes that as well, that the Tara Reid story is concerning to him because he says, for the most part, the interviews Joe Biden has gotten have either ignored the story or have treated it with absolute kid gloves. And it's been rare that he's actually gotten difficult questions. And when he has gotten difficult questions on the story, he's crumbled. His interview with Mika Brzezinski, it wasn't the perfect line of questioning from Mika Brzezinski, but it was good. And he crumbled in multiple instances during that interview. And so when we bring this up and Tom Rogers brings this up, these are not necessarily people who want to see Donald Trump continue as president. So this notion that anybody who's critical of Biden wants Trump to win is is absurd. Rather, we have deep concern that whether it's Tara Reid's story or whether it's Biden's utter inability to communicate regarding his dementia or cognitive decline, or whether it's his unwillingness to embrace 
the bold progressive policies that will excite voters, this is not a man that will defeat Donald Trump reliably. It can happen, but it's not the lock people are expecting. Again, I've noted on the channel, the polls are in some cases narrowing and Trump is losing to Biden, but the gap between him and Biden is actually smaller than Clinton and Biden this far out in 2016. This isn't over yet. And if the Democrats don't look to an alternative to Joe Biden, somebody who doesn't have the scandal and somebody who does have the ability to communicate, they could very well enable Donald Trump's next four years in which he will do a lot of harm to regular working class Americans.